All right, so uh, this video entails me heading out of Yucca Valley. Um, then I fly out of Ontario International Airport. Um, jack that up. Start over. <clears throat> Look, tennis ball. Okay. <laughs> Basically, this video entails uh, me heading from Yucca Valley to International Ontario airport because I can speak and uno mas tiempo. All right, so uh, basically this video entails me heading from Yucca Valley, uh, my trip to Ontario International Airport. I fly out of Ontario, have a layover in Phoenix, and uh, barely make that flight, by the way. Um, absolutely have to have Starbucks when I fly for some bizarre reason, not really sure why, but uh, at my layover in Phoenix, I get my wish, and uh, after that I head to uh, New Mexico, and this is the first of many journeys straight to the Tap Out House. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. And now for an adventure through the Morongo grade. You think you have a grade? No, we have a grade. It's the only way in and out of town. Yeah, if you want to get to anywhere civilized, like a mall or a real Walmart that has an actual um, super, has an actual anything, this is how you get there. Yeah, I drive a Hummer truck. I'm a stag. It's an H3 truck on top of it. It's not even a real Hummer. I love how there's just skid marks all over the pavement. Because no one knows how to drive. Riley Walter was driving a street, that big, ugly, nasty Ford. Yeah. Like the old one. And he was doing 110 in it. So and He drove off the side and crashed. The only, there was no part of the car that was left. It was all crumpled. How did he live? He's Riley. He got a remote control airplane stuck in his head. He had it lodged in his skull. He's not even supposed to function in his head. And he's a normal person. He has like a kid. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, our town is so Wouldn't wonderful. Wouldn't it be funny if your jaw got broken planning, before you got there? That our planning commissioner is going to prison for DUI. He hit a guy on a bike. And Education. pleaded not guilty. And pleaded not guilty. I, I read that in the paper today. <laughs> pleaded not guilty. <laughs> he's still he's still slightly intoxicated. On meth. Yes. And driving under the influence doesn't always mean of crap. alcohol. <laughs> in Yucca Valley, it usually means crap. Five forty-three. We've just made it to Riverside, passing the wonderful uh, Riverside. Chaparral. Yeah, Chaparral. And uh, traffic is a little too thick for my liking. Um, we're, we're at least doing the speed limit though. And my flight leaves at 6.45. No, negative 6.45. Um, is that zoomed out all the way or what? Okay. My flight leaves at 6.45 and we are just now coming toward the Ontario airport. Barely going to make it in time. This is the beautiful California. But I'll be there no less. Not a minute to spare, 5.58, and we are here 
at the wonderful Ontario airport where we want to run this red light because there's no reason for it to be in red. Yay, green lights and stuff. I'm going to have to have to make a mad dash. Actually, I'm not going to be mad. The, the dash will be a little insane, but I won't be mad. I'm going to have to dash to the terminal. I don't even know a terminal. Oh my god. I got to check my stuff. Phoenix, and I found a Pizza Hut. Oh my god, right? Mm. From Starbucks. I'm going to hell. I'm gonna get my ass kicked tomorrow. My plane board's in like 20 minutes, so I gotta eat this. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now it's time to fight luggage and stuff. This is a small airport, man. Holy cow. <laughs> Step off the plane, I'm in baggage claim. Take two steps to the left and there's a bathroom. Nothing like Southern California. Baggage claim is where? I feel like I stepped into another dimension. Almost there. Yay! More lazy people stuff. Got the bag. Now to find the Donald or the Leonard. Or the somebody. Ugh. I could be waiting forever. Hmm. Just had an epic realization. How do you find where you're supposed to go when you don't know where your destination is to begin with? I can't even ask directions. Not that I would, because I'm the guy. The kind of guy who wears flannels and chops trees. Err. Testosterone. And stuff. Not as cold as I thought it was going to be. Um, and the phone, it rings. Hello? Yes, it is. I already got the bag, and I'm actually standing outside right now. All right, sounds good, Heather, thanks. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks. Heather and Diego are on their way. Yay, and stuff. And now I get to wait. <laughs> Hey guys! That's right. Emotions. In motion. Blue camera. Let me know if you see a blue Camry before I do. <laughs> uh, that was retarded. The tap out house is like a zoo, literally. <laughs> 